the idea of of this film uh, start uh, a lot of years ago. Uh, I was born here in Montevideo, uh, like all the survivors, and um, some of them were my friends. Uh, spending hours and hours with them, talking about what happens real, really up there. They, they use the term up there. Um, I feel that this experience was much more important and much more big than that the, an, the anecdotic um, uh, it matter of, of eating, eating human flesh or, or, or something or something like that. All these this, um, last years we felt with, with the survivors la, la, that we must do one film together, all together, try to, to tell this story in a good way once, trying to put um, a lot of dimensions in, the, in this story, to, to pass inside a lot of things about life, about, about death, about, about, uh, about God, about uh, uh, believing in friendship, believing in, in a group, believing the possibilities of a human being. It's like a very big tale, a philosophical tale, a, a parable, a human parable about our condition and, and about our possibilities. It's a, it's a film who, who speaks about our real possibilities. And uh, in this sense, it's an exemplary story. About the structure of the film, uh, I start from the idea to, to spend uh, a whole day with, with each survivor. Uh, they are 16, they, we, we, we stay 16 days in a very, very quiet place here in Uruguay, uh, cutting telephone, telephones and uh, uh, sleeping together, eating together uh, and uh, making interviews, deeply interviews. I, I tried to put them 30 years ago in, in the real situation up there. Um, in the in the very in the morning we, we work in the morning in the evening in the night and um, in the in, in an open space um, I want I want wind in on, on her her faces um, I I want skies uh, behind them uh, not to make a studio a studio interview I, I want they feel the elements of wind, of, of cold, of, of all the things that can help them to put a little bit more in the situation. This was the first step. Another important, important thing was the, a trip uh, with, with some of them and some of their, their family um, to the place, to, to the real place in the valley of tears in the middle of the Cordillera, of the Andean Cordillera. Uh, they made this kind of trips uh, very often these this last years. They, they, look f they look for something there. They, they need to go there to return to this place with their children if it's possible. Then I, I, I make the, the, the trip with um, four of them. Uh, it's a very nice trip. Uh, two days by horse from the Argentinian side and uh, we sleep two nights up there in the real place, in the real place of the accident and um, it was a very strong uh, exp experience for, for me and for the crew and for them to, to be there. It's a very, very heavy, heavy place with a lot of, of with all the charge of all the experience, they, they live there. And the third level was how to, how to make image, how to film, not reactments, uh, not dialogues, not characters, like only the, the, 
the whole ambience, the, the, the weak law up there, the, the, um, how to traduce, to translate the, the, the feeling of this 72 days up there. Then we, we start for, from a, a rough cut of the interviews and with Cesar Charlone, uh, a very well-known uh, director of photography, he make he make um, City of God. He make um, the Constant Gardener. He's a very very intelligent and director of photography. We imagine like if one of the survivors could have a little Super 8 camera up there. Um, uh, they make photo photograph. They could make some shooting. Then the, 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 the feeling, the, the spirit of this, of this image was, was like if one of them was with a little camera up there and uh, to try to translate to us um, the ambience, the whole ambience of their experience.